Sydney. And I'm Christy. And we're, we're the, the cooking, cooking Cousins. Cousins. Today on the show, we're going to make a homemade Caesar salad dressing and homemade croutons. We're going to make a homemade pizza, one with pepperoni and cheese, and the other one with prosciutto, some olives, and sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, we're going to first start off by flouring the surface. So you're just going to go like that, and you're going to take your pizza dough. It can be fresh or frozen. If it's frozen, you're going to want to leave it out for about a day, just so it'll rise. You're just going to flour your rolling pin. You can use a bottle of wine if you don't have a rolling pin at home or anything with a hard surface. You're just going to push the edges out so it gets to be a thin, even circular shape. Okay, and then over here we have a finished product, and Chrissy's just going to put the toppings onto it. Perfect. This is one that's already rolled out on a stone. If you don't have a stone at home, you can just use any kind of baking sheet. Make sure it's greased. Um, so we just let it sit it out, rolled it really thin. Um, we just made our homemade sauce. We're just going to spread the sauce all over the pizza. This is the chunkier sauce. We like it for the, the pizza. It's kind of more rustic tasting. We're going to spread it out. All those chunks of tomatoes give it really good flavor. Next, we're going to add some freshly grated mozzarella cheese all over the top of the pizza. If you don't want to use mozzarella, you can use florotina, you can use parmesan, whatever you like. Mozzarella is really good for melting on the pizza. Perfect. Then we have prosciutto. Um, that you can just buy in any kind of grocery store. If you don't use prosciutto, you can use a ham, you can use just pepperoni. So we're going to put this all over the pizza. So do you want to grab the olives? Sure. We're going to put olives in this one too. If you don't like olives, again, you can use any kind of ingredients that you want. So there's just green pitted olives you buy at the grocery store, put some on top. Do you want to put on the sun-dried tomatoes? Sure. A little bit of sun-dried tomatoes and we have some roast red peppers as well. Just grab anything that you have in your fridge and put on your favorite. There we go. Mmm, looks so good. And that is it. In the oven for about 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so you're gonna put the pizza in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes. You're gonna want to check around 15. You just want the edges a little bit brown. Okay, next we're gonna start making our sear salad. So the first step is making homemade croutons. Really simple to make. So you're going to start, just get a fresh loaf at your local bakery store. This is just some nice white bread. And you're going to break it up to little cute things, just easy, a little rip, however big you want the croutons. Yeah, if you want to cut up more kind of evenly, you can use a knife and cut up really fine. But we're just kind of doing a, a messy kind of easy salad today, so we're just ripping it. Next, you're going to take some extra virgin olive oil and just lightly coat it. Probably about, not even two tablespoons of it would do. Just so it all sticks. You're going to add parsley flakes or your favorite herb. Just put a little bit on there and garlic powder. So garlic powder with a mix of salt, garlic salt, anything works, and then you're just going to put them together so they're all lightly coated, so when you put them in the oven, they get a nice brown texture. So these get put into a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes, just make sure you check them. Right in there with the pizzas. You want them lightly golden brown. <clears throat> and now we're going to make our homemade Caesar salad dressing. Okay, so we're going to start with half a cup of um, just vegetable oil. We don't like using olive oil in this. So just put it into a blender or a food processor. You're going to add about two to three cloves of garlic, depending on how garlicky you like it. Just cut them up finely because we're going to blend it soon. And now we're going to add one tablespoon of dry mustard. Just add it into the blender. Perfect. And about two and a half tablespoons of a lemon freshly squeezed. That's probably about half a lemon. And then two tablespoons of white vinegar. We're going to add one egg, and then we're going to mix that again. Perfect. So now it's starting to look like Caesar salad dressing. It's turning that white, frothy color. Now we're going to add about 10 dashes of Worcester sauce. And now we're going to add about 6 dashes of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Or Tabasco if you don't have that brand. If you don't want it that spicy, maybe add two to three. And then just fresh black pepper. I would say about half a teaspoon. And that's it. You want to blend this for about 20 to 30 seconds so all the spices get incorporated. And that's it. Ready. So the crouton should be done now. It's been about eight to 10 minutes. You just want them lightly golden brown. So that looks perfect. Mm, perfect. Okay, we're gonna grab our salad. This is just fresh romaine. You're just going to put as many croutons as you want. You can leave some for the after. 
just to decorate the top. And then we always add fresh Parmesan cheese. We grate it right on top of the salad. You can use um, store-bought one too if you don't have freshly grated Parmesan. Just over the top, take our dressing and just sprinkle a good helping of it over top. Mm. Mm, it smells so good in here. Just gonna mix it together. Lightly mix it. This is gonna taste so great with our homemade pizza that's almost out of the oven. Okay, a little helpful tip, see if the pizzas are ready. You're gonna to wanna to use a knife or fork, just lift them up slightly. If you want it to be golden brown, it's a little white right now, so cook for about five to eight more minutes. Okay, the pizza should be ready now. Yes, you can see how it's all brown on the outside. Oh, it looks so good. It's all brown and toasty, that's how you know it's done. Carefully, just take it off. So just let the pizza cool for about five to 10 minutes. We use scissors in our household, so you can just grab it, cut it in half, and then chop up your pizza. It's really easy, by the way. The pizza's fresh out of the oven, and the salad's all ready, so let's eat. Enjoy. Enjoy.